Okay, so there was that stretch in the second half where Zach was out of the game. I kind of played through you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you just get kind of kind of single coverage there that Zach wouldn't have gotten and had an opportunity to kind of go work? Yeah, I mean, I really just got, you know, they started running plays and they get the ball in the post. And I think, you know, if I'm one-on-one, -on -one, I can score anybody. So, uh, we talked about this offseason when you and Zach came together, but when you were in there without him, a lot of your stuff comes out, right? Being the guy that played for him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's kind of like we played overseas when he's not when he's not in the game. Um, I just get to be the, I guess, primary option to score, and so you just get more touches. That's really all it is. Was this game kind of a testament to your guys' ability to whether it's depth or fouls or physicality, kind of grind on people until sort of the game changes? Um. Can you say the question one more time? Well, just, you guys seem to have the assets to wear people down. Do you feel like that happened a little bit in the first one? Right. I mean, we have a deep team. So we just have so many good players, and you can just sub them as much as we do and keep people fresh and kind of just, you know, whoever's playing good, keep them in the game. And it's just, yeah, you're right. It wears down on people. You know, when, when other teams only have six people who can, you know, really suit up and can be productive, and you have, you know, ten. Like, obviously, you're going to get, you know, the other team's going to get tired a lot quicker. Just that, that kind of leads into my next question. The juggle bench did today. You got great minutes from Caleb. You got great minutes from Miles. Some big shots from Miles. Just this was a statement about how deep you are. Right? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, everybody on our team can play, can really play. Um, that's not, you know, just a lot of people say that they have, they have depth, but I think we really have 10 guys who could, you know, they were at another place could play really big minutes, every single one of them. So I think it's, you know, it's like you said, it's a testament. I think you'll see it in the next next games and you know throughout the season just how great the people on the bench are. And it's certainly an advantage when you play three games in three days too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for tournaments. I mean, you know, our team's built for built for tournaments like this. I mean, just you know because you can you can rest people, you know, and just go off of who's who's playing well, who's not playing well. Throughout your career, you've kind of had stretches where you'd score a bunch in a row. Once you see that first one go, do you feel a little better about the next one, next one getting in a rhythm? Kind of like a shooter deep, seeing one go drop down. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a confidence boost when you, you know, when you, when you get a shot to go in. Um, but especially just getting to my, being able to get to my spots quick. Um, I think once I get to certain spots on the floor, I don't think anybody can really stop me. Um, that point so yeah I mean just like you said seeing the ball go in was a, was a big confidence boost. You guys haven't really had big rebound advantages to start the year mm -hmm. compared to last year. Anything that you've seen or reason for that? Yeah I, I mean I can't say uh, I can't say too much I think the first couple of games we played we're hitting so many shots mm -hmm. so I mean it's kind of hard to Right. You know, judge based on that. This game, I mean, going to halftime and we're down uh, we're minus four maybe on rebounds, mm -hmm. I think is what Coach said. And so, like, you can, like, with our, you know, with our, with our, you know, with our big players, there's no way that a team should out-rebound us. So I think we need to look at games like this and uh, maybe Xavier as well. But, I mean, I wouldn't really count the other games. How good of a test is it this early to play a team with so many bigs that are perimeter oriented like Gonzaga while still having size? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good um, to be honest. It just kind of, you know, shakes things up um, compared to the people you were playing. Um, I think the, the bigs that they had hit more shots than we expected um, going into the game. But, I mean, I, it's kind of a testament to how we adjusted in the second half. What's your process for the rest of the day? Preparing for tomorrow, watching the game, kind of stuff. Oh, just sleep. Sleep, <laughs> sleep hydrate, eat. Uh, nothing special. I mean, we're in, uh, we're in Hawaii, so we're going to be relaxed. <laughs>